Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom review. This one is on episode 2 of ReZero. And all I really gotta say is another great episode. Literally, that's all I gotta say. So guess what? See you guys. End of the review. I just kidding, just kidding. But yeah, literally it was another great episode. Loved it from the start to the end. We get a whole bunch of new information in here. You know, they're like some a new character. We get to see him finally realize that he has the ability to time leap. Um, of course, you know, also understand why it, when it happens, when he dies, of course, it, when the first time when it happened, when he died again at the beginning, did not expect him to die that fast again, by the way. Um, I was like, come on, how do you still not know? How do you still not know? He remembered a bunch of things, but it was only until this death that he was like, oh, wait, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can time leap. And I was thinking before, like, no, you should have known right after the second time he died, I would have been like, oh my gosh, I'm back here again. It's like a checkpoint. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's like a, it's like you're in a game and you're all said, oh, back to the checkpoint. You died. That's pretty much what's going on here. And I, I, at first I was like irritated by the fact that he didn't know, but yeah, it's finally, he does know in this one, he does find out. And it's cool that like different things are happening every time. I'm wondering if this is how the anime is going to be throughout the whole thing. Probably not. There's 25 episodes. That's way too much to keep going back to the same point over and over again. And the ending suggested some things obviously already changed. So um, it was just interesting overall to see him. Like we've seen him go up against those three guys, which is getting kind of like repetitive. Like, I hope they don't show them again. And a different thing happened each time. First time, he was saved by Satella. Oh, well, that's not her name. We don't really know her name yet. But yeah, saved by her. Second time, he beat those guys up. This time, yeah, he got stabbed in the back. Yeah, um, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. He just tries to walk past him and get stabbed. And I'm like, you remember that the guy has a knife. Come on, are you kidding me? You know? But he that's when it happens. And he's like, oh, yeah, now I remember stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but then, of course, the fourth time, it was pretty interesting to see the new, his new um, way to solve the problem was, guards, guards, help me. And then, of course, no guards come. But we do get an introduction to a new character who is, well, actually, one guard came. But he was off duty, right? Rian Harto. Um, seems like a pretty nice guy. I kind of like his character so far. I can't wait to see where he comes in more and more throughout this thing because it's interesting to learn and see all the characters really because each time is different each time their reactions are different to him and it really makes it like a different type of experience that i normally watch with animes because of you know this time traveling thing and each time he goes back it's a totally different thing because he's doing totally different things and the interactions with these people are different as he's already met them but they haven't met him, so the interactions change. Also, it was interesting to see him, you know, end up finding Elsa, and she literally, he probably crapped his pants. I would have shit my pants, like, literally right there. I was, like, I'd be scared as well, like, no doubt about it. Of course, she does let him go. When he was, like, you're wasting that beauty or whatever while being that scary, and also she comes back in his face, like, mm. I was like, oh, dang, dude, just shut up and let her get out of there. Of course, she ends up going away. And, of course, he tries, this whole episode is pretty much him racing to find Felto and um, Felt and pretty much, you know, get the insignia and get the heck out of there before Elsa gets there. Of course, ends up having to go back to the loot house, ends up having to, you know, convince the um, the giant guy again, to which he does, but Felt's not liking it. She's like, no, we're waiting for my other client. And he, of course, doesn't want that. He even tries telling the truth, saying he's going to go give back the insignia which she doesn't believe and all of a sudden boom knocking on the door oh no is it really gonna happen and when they opened the door and there was like a light shining and we couldn't see who it was i honestly thought it was gonna end right there i was about like no do not end on the cliffhanger do not end on the cliffhanger like that well it did end on the cliffhanger but we at least got to figure out who it was i was kind of like i was thinking this as well that it would be her it could be her it was either it was gonna be elsa didn't think that was going to happen because that already happened, so they would cha want to change it up. So I thought it would either be Satella or um, Rian Harto because he told him about the loot house before. So he, maybe he went to go investigate stuff too. But of course, it ends up being Satella or whatever her real name is. And of course, she's like, 
I wouldn't do something like that, killing you. That's like blah blah blah. And then she has this like look all of a sudden like hmm like oh I wonder what's gonna happen. That's like literally I was just like literally at the end I was like, Oh my gosh, I wonder what's gonna happen. This is completely different. Are they gonna be able to get the insignia and get the hell out of there? What is literally gonna happen? Is now they're all just gonna die right there? Literally it's it's pretty crazy about the amount of possibilities that can happen with this. Normally, you think with time travel, it's like, oh my gosh, that's just going to be a mess. That's going to be a headache. And, so, you know, not a lot of good anime or shows or books or anything in general. Sometimes, like, when you deal with time travel, it could really leave a lot of plot holes and make the person not like it. But so far, ReZero is doing a pretty good job and definitely getting me interested in all the possibilities that could happen and wondering what's going to happen next because you literally don't know what's going to happen next something might happen and all of a sudden oh he's dead he goes back in time and something completely different it's the same place same time same people and yet every time is different and that's why so far i've really enjoyed watching both of these episodes and honestly cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the next one you know like seriously our what happened? Why is this happening? Why is Satella there? I'm guessing Rian Hartzell didn't find her and she just found her way to the loot house. And luckily, it was before the time of when you know Elsa's supposed to be there. Is she gonna come later? Are they gonna die again? It's really crazy about the amount of possibilities. Literally, that's all I got. Like, I keep saying is possibilities, possibilities, possibilities because with his power, whatever power that is. And whatever is summoning him there, the reasoning we still do not really know why he was summoned there and why this he has this power, it's really leaving a lot of questions up in the air and it's doing a good job on getting me, and I don't know about you guys, hopefully you guys too, hyped to know what's going to happen next. Literally, that's what it is. And honestly, another great episode. Had a little bit of action too, it felt, and him with a table and stuff blocking it was pretty interesting to see that but yeah i can't wait to see more action because like i said before the action was also pretty cool i love this episode actually like i said before in the last one i actually like the fact that it had like this change of pacing change of tone from comedic value to like serious tone but this episode gave a more serious tone pretty much throughout the whole episode not as much comedy in this one um, so I hope to see a little bit more comedy just for the fact, you know, give it a lighter tone. Like I like the darker tone, but it's, they did a good job in the first episode of giving a contrast between light and dark that I feel like if they continue doing that, it would definitely make the show a lot better. Cause so far I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the atmosphere that it's, you know, it's placed in the story so far, the whole possibilities of a bunch of things going on and the different reactions and everything from the characters. And yeah, literally just give us a little bit of that lighter tone as well throughout the episode to make it so it's like not just oh my gosh dark 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 everything's bad everything's crap you know and i think this like literally so far from everything i've watched so far this is definitely one of the top animes i feel of this season and cannot wait to see the next episode but yeah that's all i gotta say guys before i start rambling about how good this episode was and how good the you know the season's been so far so yeah, let's end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I'm missing you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys, see ya.